How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six coming. Welcome back to Between Time Escape Room. Uh, yeah, we really had a had a crack at this one for a little while, didn't we? But we didn't really get anywhere, and uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be anytime soon. I'm not too sure what we need to do here, but uh, there's going to be a lot of cuts, I imagine, based on the start of this uh, um, Egyptian part that we got into, because that shit got hard fast. It got real hard, real fast, and uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to figure that out, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be doing some cuts to get around uh, to make it, you know, watchable. <laughs> well, you know, watch me fucking mo walk around not knowing what the fuck I'm doing the whole time. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that, skull face guy. This one? Alright. Now we're talking. Let me guess. This one? You bastard. How did I know you were gonna do that to me, huh? Okay, so we're on. We need to get through here, right? Cool, cool, cool. I mentioned the game's not super long, like the other games hadn't been super long, but uh, it's probably going to be pretty difficult. I imagine we need to go back this way. I'm guessing we can push our way back, and that will get that door open. Then we can like scoot around and sneak through or something like that. With any luck, pull that. No, that is not how we do it, okay? That is not how we do it. <laughs> oh, we're already in. We good. Bang. Ha! It hasn't been that difficult. Now let's go home to sell it. Oh, okay. Cool. Crystal skull. Just what I always wanted, man. Looks a bit like a <laughs> skull from an alien from Mars Attacks, but whatever. Uh, why would I need to... That just makes it harder, right? I can just run straight through. going home let's go home everything's open that Eight wasn't so bad. To go. Robert while you were working I have taken the liberty of looking for another location where you could find a treasure of greater value if oh, it's sweet. as simple as getting the skull it's worth going through the rough patch one more time it wasn't simple Wise you decision, asshole Robert destination alchemy laboratory of dr. Flamel Paris year 1357 establishing time coordinates activating time jump <laughs> oh no this doesn't look like it's going to be a good thing. <laughs> 1357? We're going to be doing some old school Time stuff. Travel completed. <laughs> well, not as old as that, I guess, but you know. <laughs> I, I can't get used to this feeling. Ava, Ooh. what fantastic treasure will we find here? Here you will find a poison that can kill any human with a single drop without leaving any trace. I don't want that. Incredible. Let's get to it. Well, we're just going to sell it to the highest bidder. I see we have no morals. Cool. At least it's all one room by the look of it, pretty much. I like the look of this room, man. This makes me gives me serious the room vibes. Alright, what do we got? Mercurius, Aqua Aquaragia, Salpitre, and Mandragora. Do we put it in here then? Do we Alright, alright. Well uh, obviously we're gonna have to figure that out, but you know, half the puzzle is exploring the rooms when we get in. Mirror. As in Can we move these? Do these do anything? Start. These do nothing. They do nothing. What do we got here? Daedric or something. <laughs> it's almost like Daedric, isn't it? No. Oh, I see. Mirror. So this is like... Uh, nine... One... Shit, what is this? Oh, my, my LEDs on my computer are going crazy again. Um... Don't know why they do that. Hang on. Nine one. What the fuck is that meant to be? Something four. What is that though? That's not a letter. That's not a n number. That's a that's a big pile of shite. That's what that is. <laughs> what the fuck is that meant to be? A six? Six. Let's give it a six. Four. Six my ass. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay. So, plus is to move that way, minus is to move that way. Now we need to go, um, I've got, a, actually for once, I actually have a pen and paper here. Like a smart person. So, that's cool. So we've got it like that. And I guess I'll write the colours as well. Red, uh, Jesus, light blue, or you call it cyan, then blue, then yellow. 
You know, there's more than just blue. There's more than just three colors in the fucking color wheel. What about green? <laughs> What's wrong with green? You got a problem with green, huh? Anyway, my bad. Where's the, uh... The thing that spins it around? That's already correct. Or does that spin that? Hey. I don't know, man. Alright, we'll keep looking around. We'll see what else there is. What do we got? Need something to start the fire? Well, I can... Starting fires is my specialty. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I'm not a crazy fire person. Um, what do we got here? I see, so these need to go in a certain order. We got a greater than, less than. I'm pretty sure we've had one of those in a... In one of the escape room games already before, so... That shouldn't be too bad. Ah, I see, so we've got... That's what these scales are all about. So red is greater than... Is greater than green. Uh, we got this one, which is... A blue and a purple, so blue plus purple, is greater, is, no, is still lesser than, should we say, uh, white. Okay, white. Uh, we got this one, which is two reds is the same as one blue. Yeah, that is wiggling, but I'd say that's what it's meant to represent. And then we got two blues is the same as one pink. Is that pink? Is that purple? That's the purple that we wrote before. Two blues equals one purple. And that's that's all, all she wrote, I think. That should be all we need, though. What's in this room? Just, just to make sure. So much to look at. I love the puzzle. I love the design in here. It's very, it's very cool looking. All right, I'm gonna. Um, I might have to cut while I work these out. But red is greater than green. So that means purple has to be the the biggerest, right? Or does this mean less than that one? Let's start with that. All right. So let's go purple. A blue plus a purple equals a white. Does that mean white's the heaviest? I mean, yeah, it does. So white, purple. Ah, uh, then blue, and then red, and then green. Alright, we got that one. We have a solution to a puzzle up here. Okay, that's for that one. So red is plus two, whatever that means. Uh, the blue one is, it's not blue here, it's purple, but whatever. Minus one. And the light blue one is minus two, and the yellow one is plus one. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. What's next? What is this? moon phases okay so one is a new moon five is a full moon and then it transitions back to a a new moon I'm sure that'll come in handy somewhere what do we got here oh i see huh okay that could be rough what do we got here all right i need a key or something Something's missing here. What about... No. I mean, we got everything we need for that, but we don't have the answer for that. That's kind of the thing that we need that we don't have. What is it? This book. Is that book readable? It is. 3, 5, 13, 57. Due to the latest cold wave, I've been researching how to easily create a heat source. So far, I've verified that I need to use these substances, but I've not yet come up with a final recipe. Salfortis is uh, Mercurius and Sulpitre. Right? Okay, so I need one Mercurius, one Sulpitre. I need two Aquaragia, two Mandragora. That's for that one. And half an aqua vitae. Two 
to one soul uh, peach tray. We can't do an aqua vitae though, can we? Does that mean we need two doses of each or? Hmm. Alright, moving on. Ah, moon phases. Okay. So we're doing new moon to full moon thing? New moon. Full moon. Like that. And then it's like uh, that one. That one. Wait, is that right? That's right, right? That one. No, not that one. And then opposite. This way. Ah, uh, whoops. That one. That one. That one. Nope. <laughs> Hang on, where are these moon phases at? Yeah, the white sliver comes from the right, so that should be right. Ah, uh, maybe it's like... One is that one. Maybe that's how it's meant to be read, like a code wheel. So, swishy with dot, like that, and then that's one, and then two is... Uh, that swishy with dot. And then three is... That swishy with two dots. And then four is... That one. Tentacles. <laughs> like that. I don't know. Maybe we put that in over here and we'll see what happens, right? So we got, uh... This swishy dot. And then we got that swishy dot. And then we got this swishy two dots. And then we got tentacles. Okay, that worked. And that's solved for that other one that's over there. Planet's disc. Yeah, I re vaguely remember the planets thing. Okay, so it's like Neptune, Mars, yeah, I vaguely remember those from like Zero Escape. I think that goes in here then. Uh, so is that how many notches between each one or something? So we've got this one. I think that's how it works. I think it's like one square away equals, like it's, it's showing you how many dots there is. And these are empty dots. They're not empty, but they're just not showing what they are, you know what I mean? So it's like that one, sun that one, so then that one this way, that one would be that sort of thing. You know, I mean, there's a lot of ways that that could be really wrong. One, two, three. Then that could be uh, the horny looking one. <laughs> oh, it has to be, because it's the same either way. It is a circle after all. And then... The horny looking one has a dot and then this one, which has to be here then. And that is next to this H-E looking one, so that has to go there. Bam! What do we got? No, not that. This. Oh, here we go. It was easier than I thought. I've created a heat source that also has a great capacity to generate steam. And that will have many uses. It seems that mix, the mixing order of ingredients is important. This is the final recipe. One cell fortis, half aqua vitae, two cell aqua. One cell, one fortis, half aqua vitae, and then two cell aqua. Alright, that should be all the information we need to finish this uh, dust mixing ass one over here. Let me just have a look over here again. So we want one fortis, so we want one of these, and I guess it has to be done in that order. What have I got wrong? They said order's important, but I mean this is the order he gives it in, right? Right here. The order is cell fortis, aqua vitae, cell aqua. That's the order. Maybe I should start with the uh, Aqua Vitae. And then Mercurius, and then 3 Salpetra, no. 
I don't know what to tell you, man. That ain't working. Alright, how do we interact with this one, then? Can we find some way to interact with this? Clicking on it does nothing. Oh, maybe it's like... Because each... Like, red adds two. Light blue minus is two. Blue minus is one, and yellow plus is one. Maybe you've got to make some kind of sequence? I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I just went red, blue, light blue, yellow, red, blue. And it worked. What? I don't even know what this is for. Alright. Blocks of three? Those are bad drawings, man. But everyone's come to expect that from me already, so... I'm not disappointing anyone. Except my parents. <laughs> up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up. But that's for the books that are unable to be used still, right? Yeah. I assume. It's kind of what it looks like, unless it's something in here. Whatever it is, doesn't help my f this fucking shit. Huh. All right, we just need to. Oh, we need to. Oh, it's this. Oh shit! Yeah, we actually have a solution to something. Dude, we actually gonna make some progress. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Progress. All right, what do we got? Another puzzle. A puzzle inside a puzzle. Just what I always wanted. It's a snickety snake. Are we making an infinity symbol? I feel like we are. It's a Ouroboros. A snake eating his own tail. What do we got here? Numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's the numbers for this. One, two, three, four, eight, five. Six one. So one two three four is new moon to on its way to bloody bloody blah. Right? Okay, that's cool. So that's this. One two, get Get out of here, you. Go on, get out of here. You Go on. Go on. Right, that's one, two, three, four, right? And then we've already got eight which is full moon. No. It's the other one. Eight five six one. That's in the way. Eight five six one. So sliver on the left, uh, full moon, mostly full moon, half moon. Uh, did it rather wrong way. <laughs> Eight, five, six. Man, my brain. Is that right? Or is that seven? That's seven. Dipshit. So one is that one. What's seven then? At least we got a puzzle that I can actually feasibly solve. <laughs> Seven's the half moon. It's this one. Good. That's a book, right, okay. I can live with that. That's for you, right? Are you done? You're done. Okay, so first block is cross plus crowbar equals crowbar tail. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. That one? How do you fit it in? Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Moustache line, double lines. What's that? Third. Third. Moustache one's here. Let's 
I'm not too sure what you need from me, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we got Spiky Doo. Uh, is number four. It's right hand Spiky Doo though, so I don't know. This one? That's an eye. This one? We're doing like one per daily? I don't even know. Then we got like some weird tail ass thing. Do we can we put more than one per bookshelf? No. So one per slot. So that plus that plus that. So you just need a shape that is all of those things combined. So cross thing, uh, crowbar thing, and crowbar tail thing. I still feel like it's this one. It's got two straight lines though. No, that's number two. That's definitely number two. Cross cross tail. Or one one tail, something like that. And then we've got a uh, moustache up down line and two lines. This one, definitely, obviously. Last one is like, oh yeah, last one's easy. Last one's the the ball thing like we had before. And then the first one is cross line moustachey tail thing. This one. All right, four one two four three. What does that mean? Four, one, two, four, three. We got up, 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 up. Left, down, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five ups. So do we just three, four, like that? And then four downs. Oh, I see, I see. I think I know. So. The number is equivalent to how many of their bits are open and how many aren't. So this is four, right? So that's all of them. And then we got five ups already. Oh, we have two lefts already, so we don't need any more left. We have two right, we need a third right, and we need four down. We need two more down and one more right. This one can't do anything. This one can go down and right, and this one can go... So one only has two. How many rights have we got? Three, so this is down. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I can live with that. Why are some puzzles so easy for me and others so goddamn hard? The coin goes in here, right? We haven't done the fire thing. I still haven't figured that out. I've decided to end it all. My knowledge led me to synthesize an undetectable deadly poison. I entrusted the recipe to my apprentice, and he betrayed me. He used it for his selfish ends and killed innocent people. He thinks he's gotten away with it, but he's wrong. I have hidden the last drops of the concoction in this chest so that it is possible to create an antidote from it. I have realized that my wisdom is too dangerous for this world. I'm taking two doses of the poison with me to do justice. Tonight my apprentice and I will toast one last time. Cool. But the solution to this is going to be attached directly to the fire thing that I haven't been able to fucking solve. <laughs> and that's the only thing left. Everything else here is done. This one. You nightmarish son of a bitch. Why? Why, why do you do this to me? Why? So the only thing I can think of is we needed two sal aqua. Maybe we need to make the sal aquas individually, like one aqua regia, one mandragora, then one sol sol petre, then one aqua regia, then one mandragora, then one sal petre again, like that. So it'd be like merc sal, one aqua regia, uh, one mandragora. And then it would be uh, one Aqua Rage, one Mandragora, one Soul Petro, one Aqua Rage, one Mandragora, one Soul. Okay. That was the reason. That's why it wasn't working. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It was just fucking me around. That's all. Why do I have to be that specific about the order it went in? Hmm? Is that a key? I want it to be a key. 
Oh, yes. That's for this one over here. 3149. Oh, that's for this. You got, apart from that one, which uh, kicked my ass up and down the schoolyard all day long, that went pretty well. <laughs> Wait, it's not done. Oh, uh, it's a addition thing? Is that what we're doing here? So 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7? Or maybe it's a number that doesn't appear. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or maybe it's the one that comes after it. 8. So it's like a, a pattern. Then we got 1, 1, 2, 3, 5... So that goes up by zero, then one. Um, then one again, then two. So then two again, seven, eight, seven. Then we got four, five. So up one, three, down two. Up three, down four. So up one, down two, up three. Down four, up five, right? So seven. I got a lot of sevens going on around here. And then we got uh, 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3. So I'm going to say 8, 7, 7, 3. How does that sound? Should have looked at it a bit more closely, shouldn't I? Should have known it would be another puzzle to shove in my face. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Eight, eight, seven. I had a feeling Piece I was wrong cake. about that one. This is being extremely easy for someone with my skills. Let's see oh. where that machine can send me now. Someone's a tosser. Right, poison. Someone's a tosser. And that someone is me. Hey, Ma. I'm prepared for another treasure. What can you find among your circuits? Calculating possible destinations. The next treasure will be harder to come by. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Who do you think you're talking to? No thief has gotten to where I am. Understood. Destination, Buffalo's Head Saloon, Wyoming. Year 1885. Establishing time coordinates. Activating time jump. Well, that's that done. That was a rough one, but I enjoyed that, apart from that fucking... Time travel completed. Your objective is a chest full of gold bars. Oh, yes. This is going to pay for my retirement. Yeah, apart from that, that powder one... That was a great one. I enjoyed all of those. Uh, we might wrap this one up here. This might be a little short once I cut it down, but I uh, trust me, it hasn't been short. I've been here for an hour, over. We'll edit this up and then we'll, we'll hit the next bit. I don't know how long this next bit will be. But uh, who cares? We're not in a hurry, are we? Let's just have a good time. I'm enjoying it. I really am. Apart from that one fair, that powder bit. Apart from that, everything's good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Thanks for getting out with me and I'll see you in the next one.